Tumalo Falls, with a plunge of 89 feet, is both the tallest and most impressive waterfall along the Tumalo Creek, as well as one of the most popular outdoor destinations in the Bend, Oregon area. Join me, won't you? As I was driving closer and closer to the falls, I could still smell the recent forest fire in the distance. Fortunately, the fire was contained and never reached the main attraction area. Even though I've been to the falls a dozen times or more, Today, for some reason, felt more special. Maybe it was because I was recording this video for you all to see, or maybe it's because of the way Tumalo Falls creeps out from behind the landscape when you get close enough to see it. Okay, so we're on location at Tumalo Falls right by the trailhead, but I'm not gonna give away what the waterfall looks like until we actually get up damn near underneath it, so follow me. There was evidence of a path, probably from other photographers like me who wanted to get a different angle of the waterfall, but it was hard finding exactly where to put my foot down or to take the next step. I do not recommend just anybody going this way because it is a little bit dangerous. beyond the trees or through the trees oh my from out of nowhere I could feel the air blasting and the mist as I got closer to that waterfall but I was compelled to get closer As you can see behind me, we're looking at one of the most popular waterfalls in Oregon, Tumalo Falls. It's such a beautiful waterfall. I've been here many, many times. I've never been on this side of the river, but um, let's get closer. Unfortunately, as soon as I wanted to get closer, I couldn't. The path literally stopped and became sheer rock ravine. So we're back on track, we're taking the alternative trail to the falls and it basically allows you to go all the way underneath, but we're not going to do that today. I didn't bring really any wet weather gear, but we're going to get as close as we damn well want. As I closed in on the waterfall, the white noise continually became more and more deafening. The cool mist in the air felt great against my skin. Within the vicinity of the waterfall, plants thrive as the water is in constant supply. Video does not do this waterfall or any waterfall justice. The sheer power of the water falling and the air moving around, blowing trees in its vicinity is just incredible. Oh my gosh, just walking away from the waterfall I can finally hear and I can 
hear my ears ringing like a mofo. Holy crap, that was loud. So, if you ever come down that way, if you have sensitive ears, you might wanna bring some earplugs, because it's really, really loud. So last year, my brothers came and visited me from Minneapolis, 4th of July weekend. And I just remember the road that leads up to the waterfall was about two and a half miles. And there were back-to-back -back cars. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be exaggerating if there were thousands of people out here at that time, that day, last year. It was insane. So if you end up coming out here, plan accordingly. If you like to kind of be alone out in nature like I do. Fortunately, the majority of the people stopped at the main lookout point. So all you have to do is just kind of keep moving and go see the three other waterfalls that are actually beyond that main big one. Waterfall after waterfall after waterfall. This is amazing. Check this out. I wanted so bad to get down to those waterfalls and film. I scoured the entire area looking for ways to get down, but without repelling gear, it didn't seem possible at the time. The closest thing I found was a little path that led down to the waterfall. Despite the soil being wet and snow still being on the ground, the waterfall was certainly compelling me to come down and visit. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe to stay up to date with all new videos.